Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 battle series. I hope you're all well, having a great week and looking forward to today's episode. So we are going to continue on, we've got two more episodes with this Dialga Kyoga team. And thank you so much to each and every one of you that suggested this team um, about two weeks ago when I put a question out to you all for what you'd like to see next. It's been an absolutely amazing team to play and the core is just really great so I hope you've enjoyed it and um, hopefully we can get some circuit reaction in in the last couple of days it's been the running theme over the last week or two but um, hopefully we can change things around I'm not gonna force bringing it to matches like we would normally do and um, just to showcase that we may do that tomorrow if we haven't brought it um, to any matches today again but we want to get wins and just showcase the team for what it's able to do and I think we've done that really well so far over the last two weeks so hopefully we can continue doing that today so without further ado let's get into today's episode put some music on that we forgot to do in yesterday's episode yeah really loud not that loud get your earbuds out but if you enjoy this sort of content guys make sure you do drop a like on the video because um, it does really help the video out a lot and it helps the channel out a lot as well um, and it lets me know more than anything that you enjoy the sort of content and that's the main thing and um, but also if you subscribe as well it means you like the content you want to see more content in future and you don't want to miss it so that's really good as well um, and I really appreciate all the support and everything that I get from each and every one of you and all the comments and things like that because um, it's just amazing to have all the time and I really enjoy it and uh, we have a competition going on flinch squad uh, the uh, flinch clothing at the minute so I'll drop that in at the end before we end the episode and uh, let you guys know how you can enter to win some swag some swag some flinch swag um, so uh, hopefully doesn't take too long to find our first opponent today uh, if it does like usual I'll just cut to where we find them and the magic words haven't worked so we're gonna do that right lads we got Scotty from the United Kingdom playing a team of let's get into team preview let's go Geordie style why I? We've got Scott and he's playing a team of Incineroar, Kyogre, I'll stop this, sorry. You probably don't appreciate any geordie but Geordie is where I'm from, from Newcastle originally, so, well, Northumberland, it's close enough. Um, but we've got Scott as our first opponent today, playing a team of Incineroar, Kyogre, Tapu Fini, Sogaleo, Nihiligo, and Tornadus. What a great combination of Pokemon. We've got that Sogaleo, Kyogre that we played again yet, uh, against yesterday, so it'll be good to go up against it again today and see if we can kind of have a little bit of better luck against it. Um, I feel like Dialga has a real good time today. There's not as much um, fighting threat as we had yesterday. There's obviously the superpower from the Sogaleo, but we know that Dialga is able to take those attacks pretty comfortably, and with Amoongus sitting next to it, we can do some nice things. So I think we will bring Dialga for show. Sure. Um, do we bring Incineroar up front or do we just lead off with Amoongus um, I think what we'll do is we'll bring do we need Incineroar in this match that's the other thing I don't know if we do because I, I prefer to bring Amoongus, Circuitry and Kyogre and I'm going to lock in with that and I'm going to say good luck to our friend Scott and hopefully we have a really good match to kick us off today and it should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Nihiligo Tornadus. Nihiligo's such a good Pokemon. We had such good success with it when we put it into the, the Kieran White team. Uh, it worked perfectly. So I can't see it working any differently in this sort of team. I'm going to see Kyogre and Incineroar come out for Scott as we lead off with Dialga and Amoongus. So the old dragon and his mushroom there. Oh, you see the rain launched out onto the field. Um. Right, I think because of the fake out pressure here, we just double. Well, we can't double protect turn one. We can just trick room, trick room and trick room grass knot. I think it's not a bad play. Yeah, trick room grass knot. Because we want to weaken the Kyogre if we can, and if we can't hit it with a, a grass knot, because it's pink, so pink. There's a water spout. There's no fake out coming out, so we're gonna get the. Uh, Definitely gonna get our uh, trick room off and a grass knot off. There's a flare blitz. This won't be enough. Not in the rain, I'm afraid to say. Yeah, so Proca Berry will get a nice tasty grass knot off. Put us in a real nice position going into this next turn. Um, because we can spoil the Incineroar. I'd imagine that Kyogre switches out. Um, 
we've got Thunder and Dialga to take advantage of there. Uh, you've got Earth Power to the Incineroar. But yeah, we're sitting pretty pretty happy right now. We're gonna Thunder the Kyogre. I'd imagine the Kyogre switches out. But I mean, anything coming in, there's not very much prevention for the Spore abuse from Amoongus now. Uh, my opponent's side of the field. Kyogre gonna switch out. Saving it for later. Doesn't want to entertain this Trick Room environment, but Tapu Fini coming in. It's another Pokemon that's not really going to enjoy the uh, the Thunder abuse from us, but it does proc a Misty Seed, which is interesting. Uh, the Spore being denied by the Misty Terrain, which is very good, and uh, a knockoff into Dialga, taking away our Wiki Berry, which is fine, um, and we'll be able to get a Thunder off into that Finny. Um, but the next turn we can go for that clear. Um, did we bring in our own Kyogre now? I think our own Kyogre would be pretty nice. Um, but we could Thunder and clear Smog the Tapu Fini, which would also be quite a good play for us, I think. And I mean, we might end up losing Dialga, but I, I still don't think we do. I think we still got enough to kind of hang around. But this plus the Thunder now, removing those stat changes to um, Tapu Fini should be enough. So you see another Flare Blitz come out. It's going to be into the Amoongus. This should be enough to take us down now. But opens the door for our Kyogre to come in, which is all we need. Um, although the Incineroar is, is slower than us. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. I think we get a Kyogre in now. Um, yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, sir. Incineroar Slower. Ah, oh, Sogaleo gonna come in. I'm gonna Waltarium Z, that baby. Dead baby. Um, okay. I'm gonna go Earth Power and let's go. Hydro Vortex into Sogaleo and remove it from the field. There's no way it's slower than anything we've got on the field. We're minimum speed. Uh, there's the wide guard. Yeah, predicting that. <coughs> I'm going to launch. Uh, yeah, in a knockoff. Earth Power. So probably proc a berry onto the Incineroar. Ooh, just out of berry range, which is ideal. And there's the, uh, the, the Hydro Vortex. He's going to now launch into the, the Sogaleo, remove that from the field, and then I think we've got one more turn of Trick Room, so that that's enough for us to kind of double thunder into that slot um, and then close things out. Because I'd imagine the, the Kyogre is scarfed in this, this variant. Yeah. Now the Kyogre coming back in. And there's not too much my opponent's got left in the tank to do. Unless our Kyogre can protect. But I I don't feel like it can. So we'll just earth power the Incineroar. And um Oh no, we have to uh, we have to we have to thunder it, man. We have to thunder with Dialga and uh we'll scald the Incineroar. And as you turn into Kyogre trying to get some damage off onto it. Scald coming out. This will be enough to take it down. And then a Thunder will be more than enough to take down the Kyogre. And that should be game. So a very good game to my opponent. Uh, as I say, they've got a really nice composition of Pokemon in their team. But um, I think the getting, allowing the, the Trick Room up turn one um, was really difficult for them to come back from after we got it set up so it's just one of those things where you um, especially in a best of one if you get caught on that turn where you think maybe your opponent's going to do something else because they're so pressured there especially with both things out and then the Amoongus surviving as well they probably didn't expect the Amoongus to survive which was a big deal because it meant they had to adjust after that they took big damage with the grass knot from the Amoongus that turn while we set up the trick room so it was a bit of a double whammy there um, so a bit unfortunate but very good game nonetheless and a nice one to kick us off today so we'll go on to our next one and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long um, to find an opponent. Oh, let's go. Uh, what music are we going to go for today? Uh, what haven't we had for absolutely ages? Horn Pokemon. I guess that's one what we haven't had. Um, I'm just going to have a little drink. And keep myself weak. 
Hmm. I'm trying to think though with this team. One of the things is um, I don't feel like we've got too many bad matchups. Like we identified Hydreigon as something we've got nothing to take against. Um, and to be honest, we could probably put Dazzling Gleam back onto um, uh, Zerkatry because we, we're not really utilizing the, gra the Grass Knot whenever we do play it. But we've got an next opponent, we can talk about this later. We've got Schrodinger. Playing a team of Tapu Koko, Lunala, Amoongus, Stack Attacker, Incineroar, and Xerneas. So that Lunala Xerneas combination that we saw. Uh, so early on in this format and really well in the Sun series as well um, Combination we're gonna see premise around this team is getting the Xerneas normally set up um, uh, With the Geomancy and the Lunala coming in with the Psych up You've got a lot of support options around the whole team to kind of protect against a lot of different stuff um, The Stack Attacker and the Amoongus are gonna be the, the Trick Room checks here um, the big important things for us in this match are going to be predominantly the Incineroar for that Lunala. Otherwise, we've got very little to kind of deal with it. Um, I think if we go Incineroar Dialga here, it gives us a good opportunity to go um, pretty hard early game. Um, I'm going to have to bring Kyogre, I think. And do I want to bring Zerkatry or do I want to bring Bronzong or Amoongus? Um, Mungus, mm, not so much. Bronzong, Bronzong's not bad, but the Lunala does threaten us pretty heavily. Um, and the Zerkatry gives us an option to like do some real nasty shenanigans stuff. I think I'm gonna go with Zerkatry in this one. And like I say, we haven't brought Zerkatry to too many matches so far, so just including it in this game is gonna be nice for us to see if we can um, we can do something with the Tail Glow, especially against such a, a big threatening kind of team. You always want to bring the Bronzong and, and Amoongus to these sort of matches, but you can't really just think that um, Dalga's not up to the task. So, um, especially if we can get the Trick Room up, uh, will not be in too bad a spot. We're going to see Tapu Koko and Lunala come out for my opponent. Wonder if it's Electric Seed. It wouldn't make much sense if it was, because I think it's probably more Z move. But I don't think I'm going to set the Trick Room up just yet. I feel like my opponent probably adjusts their board position, protecting Lunala. Uh, I mean, I'm actually going to just knock off the Lunala. And... Do I knock off? And Earth Power the Lunala. I mean, I could do. Or I could just fake out the Coco. There's every chance the Coco has the Z-move as well, which I don't really like the idea of. Um... And it's slightly the Lunala protects. That's the thing. I'm going to just fake out and I'm going to Earth Power the Coco. I mean, it could double in. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I could double into the uh, the Lunala all day long. Ooh, Calm Mind. Wow. That is getting dangaroos, man. Dangaroos. Uh, okay. So, I mean, we get rid of the Coco, which is nice. Always good. Gives Kyogre a bit of an easier time when it comes onto the field, but... That calm mind is not so good. That's why it's annoying that like I didn't just earth power knock off into that slot. It's not coming out now. Hmm. It's probably good that we trick room right, like now if we can. Uh, I think you you fake out the incineral. Um, I don't think you attack the incineral though. I think you attack the dialga. I'm gonna trick room. I'm bringing Kyogre. Because Incineroar is still the key to, to beating Lunala the whole time. It doesn't matter how many Calm Minds it gets up. Unless it's got like Moonblast. Fake out into Kyogre. Calm Mind again. If we can work this um, well enough. We can potentially. What we what we uh, we can't do it. We can't do it. We need to uh, we need to water spout, um, and we need to bring in Incineroar at the same time. 
That's the only way we can do this, is break that Shadow Shield and have Lunala in a position where we've got the knockoff ready to just fire into it under Trick Room and not really care. Um, there's a water spout will take down the Incineroar. You've got to be a bit worried about Wide Guard, but I think with the inclusion of Calm Mind, I don't think you carry Wide Guard as well. Unless you do, we've not seen Protect yet on it. As a U-turn. Hmm, I wonder what comes in then. That is the Amoongus. But as long as this electric terrain's up, it's it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We don't want to lose Kyogre though. It gives us an easy way to answer. Um ha, there's the Z move. It's gonna be into Kyogre for sure. A hundred percent. I know I would do that. Yeah. Plus two, we do not survive this. We'll be cutting this out again with some, either just a cut or into some strange Dragon Ball Z prelude. Oh, it's into Incineroar! Ho ho! Okay. Hmm. That's not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Chew, who are ah? Man, that does so much. That does so much damage. Um, okay, so what we'll do is switch Kyogre out into Dialga. Um, hmm, the Amoongus is a pain. Amoongus is a, a royal pain. Did we just switch Incineroar in though? I think, no, did we? Oh, I really wish I could remember. My mind's gone completely blank now. Because um, we could water spout, but we're probably going to take a big... Uh, we need to be super quick about selecting what we're doing. We're running out of time. Bring Dialgar in, um, and we need to proc our berry with um, Incineroar. So let's go into Amoongus with a Flare Blitz. It's unlikely the Amoongus has Protect. Amoongus going to, yeah, withdraw. So does Lunala Protect this time around? That's a nice play for my opponent. Just with the pressure there that they've got the Amoongus. Now we need to adjust. Yeah, Lunala protecting. It makes a lot of sense as well, doesn't it? But now we should be able to proc our own berry. Which means Incineroar's back in the game now. Ooh, we might not be able to. Ah yeah, just on the money. Couldn't ask for anything better there, could we, with Incy? Um, Alright, the Trick Room's still up. But we're not doing too much at the same time. Oh no, uh, I thought it was like a disconnect there. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Earth Power. Like, we get faked out. Incineroar definitely gets faked out here. But I'm still gonna knock off the Lunala. Fix us out, yeah. We just need to get damage onto this Incineroar now. Oh, we might be able to get it with the next one, to be honest. Moonguys Beam. Hopefully it's into Dialga. That's into NC. I don't know if we're going to be able to deal with the Lunala now. It makes it a little bit difficult. <laughs> um, because getting the Trick Room up is all well and good now. But the Amoongus just comes back in. And does all sorts of shenanigans. I think one thing we could try and do is paralyze the Lunala. Um, and sack circuitry here. Because I feel like the Amoongus comes in thinking that we're going to set the trick room up again. But I, I'm not setting the trick room up. Not until we've got, like, like if we can get the paralysis on that Lunala, then that would be huge. Okay.
I don't think you care too much about Dialga in this situation, so we might be able to get just a free. Like, it's worth going for the Thunder even out of the rain. I'm just going to protect Zerka Tree. Yeah, Psy Shock. We do hit. If we can get the Paralysis here, it does help us out massively. Nah, no, nothing. Nothing. Um, okay, that's Earth Power. The Among Us. And, I mean, we can try and tell Glow. We're not going to be able to get it off, though. My opponent might not. Oh, they have Psy Shock, so we could have had a free switch into Incineroar. But then again, if we do that, we just get spored. Yeah, I don't think we can win this now. It feels a bit like it's gone a bit too far for us to, to kind of claw this one back. Which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but it just shows how good like Carmine Lunala can be. Just like acting by itself with this support network around it. Um, yeah, there's not very much we can do. Uh, we can go for the knockoff. But I mean, the Among Us just... I reckon the Amunga switches out and the Incineroar comes back in. Yeah. And then Lunala protects. Just to be super safe. No, just Moon Guys beaming. We needed some redirection support there to get around this, but like the plus twos are just doing too much damage. Like if we had Amoongus here we could but like <laughs> easy to say but Psy Shock would take us down pretty easily um, and now we've not really got too much to kind of tackle this thing with hmm. we bring in Kyogre but I think my opponent's probably aware that our best win con now is getting the trick room up and going from there So we'll go a trick room if we can. So whether or not we could get well, we but let's protect with Kyogre first. <clears throat> See where the incineral goes. That makes sense. Yeah. If we can get a double protect off, hmm, nah. Yeah, we I think we need the double. We need to be able to take a plus two Psy Shock, which I don't know if we'll be able to do, to be honest. Um, and the, I think the Amoongus just comes in regardless. Like, I think the Incineroar just switches out and the Amoongus comes in. One of the things we could do is potentially just Earth Power the Incineroar, because we'll wake up and go for the Waltarium into Lunala and, and hope that does enough. I don't think we take the Psy Shock though. We do. There we go. We probably get the... Oh, well. It's not quite over. It depends how much damage we can do with this Lunala. It's plus two special defense, so I don't think we get it. But you never know. It is in the rain. Kyogre's a beast. 200 base. Oh, it's so close! It's so close! If we get the Incineroar, this really does put us back in a position where we can maybe do it. We can maybe get this game. We've got the Amoongus to deal with, but Amoongus can't touch Dialga. Uh, and we can totally... Well, we can't, because the Rage Powder totally screws us. Um, We needed to get the, uh, I mean, we can go for Thunder. Hope for a Paralysis. Protect Kyogre. I mean, it's obvious that we protect Kyogre. 
Yeah, you just spoil the Dialga, I think, here. Yeah. Nearly. We nearly did it. We nearly did it. We can't be too sad. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense doing that. And then, uh, yeah, and then next turn you Rage Powder, I think, and just Psy Shock. If we get a double protect though, it kind of prolongs this so we can maybe wake up. Oh, we don't get it. We don't get it. There's a rage powder. Yeah, and there's not really much we can do now. But you've got to think. The Lunala is definitely running out of attacks. Dalga's been out in the field a long time. And this pressure is, is definitely adding up. So... This match is not over by any means. If we can wake up now and get a protect off, it would be super nice. Come on, Dialga. Ugh. But we still got a berry. Okay, that's fine. Rain stops. Now we definitely wake up now, 100% wake up now. But the Amoongus probably... I'm just going to protect. Yeah, because now the Amoongus spores us. Yeah, but we force the Amoongus to rage part of this turn because if they don't, we attack before um, they can spore us so this is this is pretty nice for us here so we can earth power yeah if we can get like special defense drops it'd be really nice and we're taking these pretty well we'll take one more and that'll proc our berry I think we protect now. The problem is protecting on non Rage Powder. So Lunala protects, that's what we want to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then we go for another Earth Power into Lunala. We'll get it into the Amoongus. Of course, as well, we've got to worry about the Amoongus having a 50% um, a berry. Amoongus Beam, ah, oh, this is probably enough to take us down. Maybe only had, like, one left. Maybe. One or two. Yeah, good game to my opponent. We nearly got there in the end, but never mind. So, that is going to wrap today's episode up, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, I love hearing from you as always. And like I mentioned earlier, we have flinchclothing.com. Big giveaway going on at the minute. If you want to get involved in that, make sure you do sign up by the 1st of March. Um, go over to www.flinchclothing.com. Go down to our mailing list. Join up there and you'll be in the draw just for all this nice swag. And we'll do a nice draw on the 2nd to announce the winner. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Have a great evening. And I'll see you for the next episode tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.